Welcome to selections from The Hidden Words by Baha'u'llah Vegetarian from the Persian passages 56 to 71, part 2 of 2, on words of wisdom. Born in 1817 in Tehran, Persia, or present-day Iran, Lord Baha'u'llah Vegetarian was the enlightened prophet and founder of the Baha'i Faith. Throughout his life, Lord Baha'u'llah, the divine educator, endured persecution, imprisonment, confinement with heavy chains, and exile for many years for spreading God's messages. He and his teachings are believed to be prophesied in Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and other religions. The Arabic word Baha means glory or splendor. The Baha'i faith rests on three main concepts, also known as the three onenesses, unity of God, unity of religion, and unity of humankind. These concepts emphasize that while the names for God, as well as religions and cultures may differ, all are equal and ultimately united as one. Today, approximately 7 million people throughout the world adhere to the Baha'i Faith. Its scriptures have been translated into over 800 languages, with Baha'i houses of worship in every corner of the globe. The Baha'i Faith envisions an ideal society, which can be achieved through principles such as gender equality, human equality, harmony between religion and science, universal educational opportunity, judicious world government, and the elimination of extremes of wealth and poverty. Baha'i devotees see this noble society as a real goal to be pursued in everyday life. In this episode, let us continue our exploration of the timeless teachings and insightful aphorisms from the hidden words by Lord Baha'u'llah, vegetarian, translated by Shoghi Effendi. Vegetarian. Part 2 from the Persian, passage 56. O oh, my son, the company of the ungodly increases sorrow, whilst fellowship with the righteous cleanses the rust from off the heart. He that seeks to commune with God, let him betake himself to the companionship of his loved ones. And he that desires to hearken unto the word of God, let him give ear to the words of his chosen ones. Passage 57 O son of dust, beware! Walk not with the ungodly and seek not fellowship with him, for such companionship turns the radiance of the heart into infernal fire. Passage 58 O son of my handmaid, would thou seek the grace of the Holy Spirit, enter into fellowship with the righteous, for he has drunk the cup of eternal life at the hands of the immortal cupbearer, and even as the true morn does quicken and illumine the hearts of the dead. Passage 59 O heedless ones, think not the secrets of hearts are hidden, nay, know ye of a certainty that in clear characters they are engraved and are openly manifest in the Holy Presence. Passage 60 O friends, Verily I say, whatsoever ye have concealed within your hearts is to us open and manifest as the day, but that it is hidden is of our grace and favour, and not of your deserving. Passage 63 O ye peoples of the world! Know verily that an unforeseen calamity follows you, and grievous retribution awaits you. Think not that which ye have committed has been effaced in my sight, by my beauty. All your doings have my pen graven with open characters upon tablets of chrysolite. Passage 64 O oppressors on earth, withdraw your hands from tyranny, for I have pledged myself not to forgive any man's injustice. This is my covenant, which I have irrevocably decreed in the preserved tablet and sealed with my seal of glory. Passage 65 O rebellious ones, 
My forbearance has emboldened you, and my long suffering has made you negligent, in such wise that ye have spurred on the fiery charger of passion into perilous ways that lead unto destruction. Have ye thought me heedless, or that I was unaware? Passage 66 O emigrants, the tongue I have designed for the mention of me, defile it not with detraction. If the fire of self overcomes you, remember your own faults and not the faults of my creatures, inasmuch as every one of you knows his own self better than he knows others. Passage 67 O children of fancy, know verily that while the radiant dawn breaks above the horizon of eternal holiness, the satanic secrets and deeds done in the gloom of night shall be laid bare and manifest before the peoples of the world. Passage 68 O growth that springs out of dust, wherefore have not these soiled hands of thine touched first thine own garment? And why, with thine heart defiled with desire and passion, dost thou seek to commune with me and to enter my sacred realm? Far, far are ye from that which ye desire. Passage 69 O children of Adam, Holy words and pure and goodly deeds ascend unto the heaven of celestial glory. Strive that your deeds may be cleansed from the dust of self and hypocrisy and find favour at the court of glory. For before long the assayers of mankind shall, in the holy presence of the adored one, accept naught but absolute virtue and deeds of stainless purity. This is the day star of wisdom and of divine mystery that has shone above the horizon of the divine will. Blessed are they that turn thereunto. Passage 70 O son of worldliness, pleasant is the realm of being. Were thou to attain thereto, glorious is the domain of eternity. Should thou pass beyond the world of mortality, sweet is the holy ecstasy. If thou drink of the mystic chalice from the hands of the celestial youth, should thou attain this station, thou would be freed from destruction and death, from toil and and sin. Passage 71 O my friends, call ye to mind that covenant ye have entered into with me upon Mount Paran, situated within the hallowed precincts of Zaman. I have taken to witness the concourse on high, and the dwellers in the city of eternity, yet now none do I find faithful unto the covenant. Of a certainty, pride and rebellion have effaced it from the hearts in such wise that no trace thereof remains. Yet knowing this, I waited and disclosed it not. For more information, please visit Baha'i.org. Every being that lives on this planet is one of God's children and deserves the empathy and the love and the compassion from the trees to the animals to each other. Corey Feldman, Vegetarian.